we um, have experienced food supply chain issues and so we've actually had to spend more money purchasing food than ever before. Today at the Lift Up Warehouse in Portland, volunteers are getting food ready to deliver to low-income clients. There's been a 21 percent increase in demand this year. Executive Director Stephanie Barr says Lift Up usually relies on grocery store partnerships, but things are changing. There's everything from labor supply issues, um, so farmers not having the resources to uh, harvest food to just disruptions in transporting food. Barr says in the past, 60% of the food was sourced from places like the Oregon Food Bank and grocery stores. Now there's less food left over to give to people who are hungry. The rising cost of the food is also an issue. We do have other just bulk supply places where we're purchasing and they're in conversation with us about the, their costs going up and needing to increase costs for us. Growing up, I definitely came from a household um, that struggled with food insecurity. Cecilia Estraves is the warehouse director for Lift Up. She says not only are supply chain issues decreasing the food supply, donations have also gone down. But the organization is doing the best it can to keep up. I cannot tell you how many folks tell me that this is some of the only food they receive per month. I'm definitely concerned in the year ahead. We're overspent already on our food budget for this year, and I don't see the need going down. Lift Up delivers the food once a month to clients. Many were once houseless, but now live in Portland's affordable housing buildings. The nonprofit needs donations and volunteers, and will post a link to the website at kgw.com for more information if people do want to volunteer. I'm Bryant Clerkley, KGW News.